Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the 18th part for Vue.js project and uh, in this video, I will tell you that how we can make a form for update restaurant and how we can make a link for update restaurant and uh, some small changes in the routes file also. So first of all, I just want to tell you what we are going to do. Uh, here you can see that we have a add restaurant form here, right? So I will just copy this form and paste it in our update restaurant also so that with the help of this form we can update our restaurant this is the first task after that uh, from here like update restaurant menu we cannot update our restaurants why because here we don't have any id of restaurant we don't have any name so how we can update we will remove this menu from here and we will add menu for update restaurant with respectively every row of uh, any restaurant so here we have an update restaurant one, two, three, and all. And whenever you will click on it, it will open the restaurant uh, form. And uh, this is the uh, part that we will do in this video. In, in the next video, we will make, make this form pre-filled because whenever I am updating something, I must have to know the current value of uh, that restaurant. And in the last and which is the third one video, we will update our uh, restaurant with the help of API integration. So now let's start with the first point and create a form. So as I told you, I am just going to code, copy the code from add uh, restaurant because it will save our time. So let me just co copy this data properties from here. And uh, then let's uh, just use it in the update. Great. After that, with the same way, we can copy the form also. So guys, you can watch the previous video if you don't know that how we created this add form and uh, properties and all, because I already created the video for them. If I am just going to type from scratch it, from scratch, then it will take lots of time and there is a no point to just write code again and again if we already have that, right? So let me just copy it here and like this. Okay, so now let's go to the update restaurant and here you can see that we have a same three field and uh, button also, but we have to change this button text. So let me just put here update restaurant. And now as I told you, we need to create a links here to update our restaurant. So let's go to the home page now. And I am going to make a again TD which is actions. Why I'm putting here actions if I only have the update action only. So I can just simply put here actions. But in the next video, I mean to say in the upcoming video, we also have to uh, make an action for delete. That's why I'm putting here heading uh, actions. And after that, we have to uh, add here routes. So let me copy this from here and. Uh, now what we can do here let me add here route like this it will be a router link this and now like this we can close it and now here we can just put here update that's okay we can just simply mention here update and now we also have to add here to link that will open a page our uh, you can see that our update page yeah come back here let me just refresh this page and now you can see that we have update so whenever i'm just clicking on it this is opening the page but still we don't have any id so what i need to do here with the update we have to pass here the i restaurant id in the url like this right so what we can do here now uh, just simply use here colon with the two and uh, now let's make it string and here let's put a dynamic values for that let's simply use here item dot id and now you can see that we have a uh, dynamic links here here you can see that with the id one two five and seven this is working fine so now whenever I'm clicking on it, this page will be not open. Why? Because now route is changed here. There is a one more 
uh, you can see that character after slash is coming here it will work only on uh, update but it will not gonna work on update slash so we have to just configure it so what we can do here just directly go to the uh, routes.js file and update this route simply put here colon id and now you will find that this is working fine we can just go with the any restaurant and it will be open so but uh, now update restaurant have no means so we can just remove it from our header file so just simply remove restaurant update restaurant link from here great so that's all for this video in next video what we are going to do whenever we are just uh, jumping from uh, our home page to update the behalf of this id we will uh, call a api and we will make our uh, this form prefilled so that we can get to know what information we are actually updating so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video